Quilty is brought to you by Baby Lock Sewing and Long Arm Machines. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Aurafil, Aurafil Italian Thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things. Free Spirit, a new generation of creative and playful fabrics perfect for fashions, home decor, quilting, crafting, and more. Hovel Sewing, cut it close with hovels. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Thermoweb, manufacturer of heat and bond adhesives and new Lux interfacings, proudly made in the USA. Hi, thanks for watching the show. I'm so excited that you're here. We're gonna talk about designing a quilt today. Um, you may think, I'm not a designer. I leave that to the experts and then I just make the quilts that they design. That's fine, you can live your whole life as a quilter that way. But if you wanna make a quilt that is yours from the very beginning, it's not as hard as you think. So, first you need an idea, right? Any design has to start with an idea. I recommend going to Quilty Magazine. Of course, there are many patterns in here that we love and we want you to make those and that's great, but on the very last page of Quilty Magazine in every issue, there's something that I like to call inspiration. And this is a page I wanted to put in the magazine from the start that gives you inspiration for your next quilt that may or may not be uh, quilt related at, at first glance. This one clearly is. This is a picture of a Baltimore album quilt. It's an antique quilt. This is a page for you to find ideas. You can look at this Baltimore album quilt and be like, oh wow, that's great. I really like the sailboat in that quilt. I'm gonna make a sailboat quilt next. I Or I love the red and green in this quilt. I'm gonna do something red and green next time. Um, sometimes the inspiration page in Quilty will be butterflies or um, board games. Cr crazy stuff that you might not think is quilt related, but then suddenly you look at it and you're like, oh yeah, a checkerboard or a chessboard is just like a checkerboard or a chessboard in a quilt, and I'm gonna do something different with that. So Quilty Magazine is a great place to look for inspiration, especially that back page, okay? Another great place to look for inspiration if you wanna design your own quilt is antique quilts. I think so many designers always go to the quilts that were made yesteryear in the days, days bygone. This is a book from the Whitney Museum exhibit many years ago, famous exhibit. This, this quilt, a checkerboard, I was just talking about checkerboards a moment ago. This checkerboard quilt is stunning in my opinion and it is very old. Let's see, it was uh, 1890. Um, and the color combination, unusual, might not see it today, that might really inspire you. Or you might say, I'm gonna do a checkerboard block but set it on point, which is kind of what this person's done. So looking at old quilts may really inspire you to do something that, you know, you, you there's no pattern for the quilt you wanna make. Maybe it's just in your head. So you go and you look at these old quilts and maybe they give you the inspiration. Okay, once you find a block that you like, or just by looking through this book, you'll find blocks that you like, um, when you're designing your own quilt, I think if you're first starting out, the best thing to do is to go block by block. You could do an improvisationally pieced quilt. Of course, that's going to be yours. It doesn't follow a block structure. Um, for me, if I'm designing a quilt, I usually find a block that I love and start basing the quilt around that block. This book is famous. We've had this uh, on a lot of different shows, Encyclopedia of Peace Quilt Patterns. These are quilt patterns that are public domain. Nobody, I mean, these are quilt blocks that are public domain. Nobody owns these blocks. These blocks are for you and for me to use and change and adapt. And Barbara Brackman, the genius that she is, has cataloged all of the quilt blocks, like all of them, all of them. And she's got them drawn out uh, with pictures and descriptions and all of that. This is an invaluable resource. You have to get one. So I decided I wanted to make a block that was a butterfly at the crossroads. I was flipping through this book and I was like, I'm gonna do a butterfly at the crossroads block because I love it. It's just got a lot going on. It's got a cross through the middle, kind of got these, these, the four units on the outside make a star, but it's kind of interrupted, I love it. And so the quilt behind me, Hey Blue, is exactly what I did, right? You can see the butterfly at the crossroads block is behind me. So. When I, I designed this quilt, this is my quilt. It's an original design. It's not anything that's so crazy that you've never seen it before, but I took a block that I liked and I decided to put sashing in between it and I decided what colors I wanted to use and this is my quilt, I designed it. Um, and I did it just in this way. I got inspiration from an antique. I went through this, blo this block book and I found what I, what I wanted to do and from there I made my quilt. So what happens after you get your 
block that you want to start from, it's time to do a little arithmetic. I forgot to bring my calculator up here, but that's okay, because all of my arithmetic is here on my paper. This is the actual document <laughs> from this quilt, okay? First of all, uh, if you look at this part, I, I pulled out some blue fabrics and started taping them to a piece of paper. I was like, I want sashing in this quilt. I want it to go from sort of light to dark. So I put these pieces of fabric just taped with scotch tape onto a piece of paper. And my arithmetic, I, I just had to figure out what size to make my blocks. And you know, when we sew patchwork, we're sewing with a quarter inch seam. So if I wanted the block to finish, I decided I wanted it to finish 11 inches. So, I needed three inch strips. I mean, this is this is the document that I needed for this block. Um, so there's a lot of different numbers here. I don't have to go through every one with you, but but I needed three inch strips to finish two and a half inch. Okay, so a three inch strip is going to finish two and a half because of the quarter inch on either side. So I I drew out my little block with Barbara Brackman's help, and I realized, okay, well to get to the 11 inch finish size, I need a two and a half inch finished unit there, two and a half inch finished, two and a half, two and a half, and then this little middle part was a one inch. That's kind of how I got to 11 inch finish because of this middle piece. Anyway, so it's just arithmetic and it's kind of like, okay, I got to change this. If this is three and a half and it finishes, you know, three, or if it's three and it finishes two and a half, you just kind of have to, to do this. This is the work of designing a quilt. And I brought this too. This was in my sewing, my little sewing kit that I brought on set today. <laughs> This is from another quilt that I designed, and I couldn't figure out how many blocks across that I needed and how many down, so I just jotted it down on a piece of paper and it ended up in my stuff. So th this, is, this is a quilt design. At least this is how I do it. There's other ways people use EQ, they use computer-aided drafting uh, programs and things, but for me, um, it's as easy as anything to get out the calculator, get out the books of inspiration, sit down, and just puzzle out what this puzzle is gonna look like at the end. Um, this quilt will be featured in Quilty Magazine and there's always a lot of info in this magazine uh, to help you make quilts, not just the ones we feature, but but your own. There's all kinds of information about designing and, and all kinds of things. This is a quilting magazine for you and for the beginner too, okay? Um, Gosh, did I tell you everything? I think so. That's that's the, the the broad stroke of designing a quilt, but really it's as simple as uh, picking what you want to do and doing the math and getting started and failing. You'll fail. You'll measure wrong. It's okay. Just make a sample block, and if you mess it up, do it over again. It's not like we're going to run out of fabric. Okay, see you next time on Quilty, and thanks for watching the show. Quilty is brought to you by Baby Lock Sewing and Long Arm Machines. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Aurafil. Aurafil Italian Thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things. Free Spirit, a new generation of creative and playful fabrics perfect for fashions, home decor, quilting, crafting, and more. Hovel Sewing, cut it close with hovels. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Thermoweb, manufacturer of heat and bond adhesives and new Lux interfacings, proudly made in the USA.